planting today. So we first need to fill the implement. Yes, Lord willing, we're going to be planting sedan grass today. <laughs> we planted three acres yesterday afternoon. It's a little wet. We planted a sandy field yesterday. Today we're going into one that has more clay, but there are thunderstorms rolling in for this afternoon, and we sure would love to get this planted first. The variety we're planting this year, and we've used it many years, excellent seed for us is uh, AS9301 now this says Alta Seeds I think it's also sold as a Byron Seeds variety because I think that's where I got it <clears throat> we buy we buy our sedan grass seed from uh, ForageSeeds.com out of Indiana. It's just very easy for us to order it online in the spring. Gets delivered by truck for you know not much money. I think our shipping costs are always maybe twenty-five, thirty dollars. And uh, very nice for us to order it that way. Um, we plant sedan grass every year. This year we're doing at least 10 acres. Usually it's, you know, 10 acres that we do. And uh, it provides green chop for the cows all summer long. Um, and in the event that we have too much ready at one time, we also will cut it and bale it into baleage. It makes excellent feed that way. We've never pastured it off. I'm not a real big fan of that because turning cows out into 20, 30 inch tall sedan grass, they stomp it all down before they eat it. And I guess I really don't like to take the time to move a fence every day. It's easier to send the boys out every night with the chopper and get them a load. We are planting this year earlier, I believe, than I've ever planted sedan grass. This is Saturday, the Saturday before Memorial Day. Here in the U.S. of A, what date would that be? 23rd. Okay, because my watch is off. It tells me the day's the 24th. Usually, I've never planted earlier than the first week in June. Usually it turns out to be the second week in June. Reason being is that sedan grass needs warm soil. But we've had a, a nice start to this year. Not really too warm, but dry enough to get in there. But now we're expecting, I mean, soil's warm enough now and we're expecting warm weather going forward. So we're hoping this will jump out of the ground. And possibly being, you know, two, three weeks earlier than normal, hoping we may get a uh, additional cut. So we're probably hoping on four cuttings of this, whether it be baleage or just green chop. Sedan grass does not like frost. It will die with a minor frost so from now into September hopefully into October before our first frost um, and we've had years where we have not really had a killing frost until into November wouldn't that be great but uh, you know Lord willing we'll get a lot of feed out of this so we'll just continue to fill the planter and hopefully crack on put four bags in them. Our seeding rate that we're using is turning out to be just about 40 pounds per the acre, which according to recommendations is on the heavy side, but that's as narrowed down as I can get my planter to do it. I can't make it plant any less. 40 pounds per acre, uh, you know, works out great we've had I suppose if I do fewer pounds per acre it might work out great too but the cost of this seed 
is I believe 109 a bag, $109 a bag. So uh I guess affordable for what we get out of it. We are not putting any added fertilizer on with it. The fields into which we're planting have been heavily manured. And that's generally the way we go. I don't think we've ever fertilized city and grass, maybe once. It eats nitrogen, so that would be the fertilizer you'd put on. six acres here. If uh, we end up needing more for the last few passes, we'll just send Wilson running. <laughs> He's a big enough kid now to put 50 pounds on his back and tote it out to the field. Right, Wilson? Well, I just carried three out from the barn. I'm not sure if I can do it out to the field, but... Oh, sure you can. Okay, now let's hope we don't have, have to run off feed. <laughs> All right, we're planting today with the Kubota. I love to plant with the H and would prefer to plant with the H, but uh, procrastination on my part has left the H with the working brake on only one side. I need to get a, a lined band for the other side. So when planting, you're always standing on the brakes at the end rows when you're spinning around to head back the other way. Uh, it would work turning one way, turning the other way would be frustration for me, so we're putting the Kubota on. Kubota's a nice light tractor as well with the uh, four-wheel drive. Pulls it around corners very nicely without packing down or digging up the field. The plant that we're using is the one we've used forever. A Minneapolis Moline 10-foot drill with grass seed. It had fertilizer attachment on the back, still there, but it rusted out many, many years ago, as they all did. Uh, very simple machine. Not rocket science by any means, and the uh, GPS guidance on the thing doesn't work either. But uh, it'll put seed in the ground. I'm. 53 years old, I remember buying this thing used way back when I was 16 or 17 years old from a retiring farmer here in the area. I think we paid 200 250 for it. Went and hooked it onto the back of our 65 GMC pickup that we had at the time and pulled it home. So it has served us a long time. I'm sure it served that farmer a long time. I can't tell you how old it is, but certainly the 1960s. It could even be 1950s, but it's simple machinery and it keeps plugging along. All you need to do is dig a furrow and drop seed in the ground. Even uh, Mike Bloomberg can do that. No, Wilson did not wet his pants. He just spilled diesel fuel all over himself. It's called no vent gas cans. When it comes through, stuff splashes and then it rolls down the side of the can and lands on your pants, so. This is another one of those nagging problems I need to get fixed when I get time. Where one of these clamps attaches to the rim, I'm not sure which one it is, perhaps this one. There's just a pinhole leak. So the tubeless tire leaks tiny bits of air out through the rim itself. So uh, one of these days when we have nothing to do, we need to pop the tire off and weld the rim, put it back on pain in the butt so it's probably not gonna happen real soon it's easier to put air in every now and then
enjoying the show? Air conditioner working nicely? Sure is. You came at the most opportune time. Right out there is a rock. Can you pick that up and set it on the drill? Yep. Computer sensors on this side must be calibrated just a bit heavier. Being sent home to bring the last few seed bags out here for dad. Thank you, Austin. 
put a drag on the kebab pet afterwards and go over this field again when he's done. Alright, we decided to put only one bag of seed in because that's probably all we're going to need for the rest of this field. There's just kind of one pass back down this way, but it is wider up at that end. Now we gotta go back up to the other end and finish what we haven't done yet. Okay, in between those two lines is what still has to be planted. So just one pass down, one pass back up right about here and we'll be done Okay, with all of the broken door problems we've had in the past, if you're new to the channel, please enjoy it in the archives. I'm sure someone is wondering why I'm driving around with my door open. Because I'm hot. Uh, last fall, one of the air conditioning lines that runs right past the radiator up there rubbed a little hole in it and we lost all of our refrigerant uh, I just repaired that line several days ago and I have on order from a place out in Pennsylvania a new set of manifold gauges so I can add the refrigerant in the proper amount and check pressures well anyway it has made it all the way to New Berlin one hour from where I am right now but because of the holiday it won't come today it won't come tomorrow it won't come Monday scheduled for delivery on Tuesday so I guess I'm just gonna suffer through the heat until then at which time hopefully I will get the air conditioning fixed and we'll be able to ride around with the door closed again and cold air blowing out these vents but I trust my judgment so as not to break a door while I'm riding around with it open. So check back in an hour or two and see the video of the broken door. Alright, now we have the planter up by the shop. We're going to take a shot back and vacuum all the excess seed out because it's supposed to rain this afternoon. We don't want that getting all wet. But we hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>